Uh, as I was saying, firstly, uh, you know, as the economic survey has demonstrated, uh, by doing an initial very uh, strong lo lockdown, India has really saved lives and has furthered a V-shaped economic recovery. Um, the, uh, the same economic recovery actually is getting carried forward as well, and the budget has given a significant push to it. The uh, significant healthcare spending and the uh, infrastructure. So you would note that the capital expenditure spending has been stepped up by 32% in the coming year. Um, together with the healthcare spending and the financial sector reforms, these, uh, the, all these together have actually the potential to push India into an 8% plus growth orbit in a couple of years. Um, I think in the coming year, 11% is something that the economic survey has estimated, though the budget has taken a more conservative 10.5% in real terms as the, uh, as, as the growth estimate. I do think that with the infrastructure spending um, and the multiplier that it creates this year, 11% will be eminently achievable. And these steps have put the foundation for India to grow at really high rate, uh, you know, 8% plus in this decade. Okay, fair enough. Uh, a lot of economists have lauded the budget uh, for being uh, balanced. I want to understand from you uh, what's uh, been the reaction from rating agencies. I was reading some reports where Moody's was saying uh, that they are okay with the fiscal consolidation roadmap that you've laid out for the future, which has, of course, been altered because of the pandemic. Uh, the focus will squarely be on nominal growth. They are going to be watching out for the trajectory there, and I think a core part of that is uh, inflation, because nominal growth is real growth plus inflation. And so, uh, what can you tell us about about, uh, the risks that they are ahead in terms of price rise from the current environment? Uh, firstly, uh, Sandeer, I want to point out that you've written a chapter in the economic survey titled, Do India's uh, Sovereign Ratings Reflect Its Fundamentals? No. Uh, where we've made very, very clear, actually with extensive analysis, that the uh, sovereign credit ratings do not reflect India's fundamentals. For instance, all of India's external debt taken together is less than India's reserves. In other words, India is like a negative debt company that has 100% ability to repay. So uh, this is an aspect that must be highlighted. Uh, there's a lot of literature in financial economics that talks about the subjectivity and the bias in these credit ratings. Uh, nevertheless, I must say that the, uh, the growth that this budget will bring uh, will definitely also help uh, you know, in, in, uh, in, 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 in the credit ratings part, uh, though one remains to see given the subjectivity and the bias that is in these, in these credit ratings. Um, but I do not see any, any risks on that front.